Yeah. What is the smell in the back of the refrigerator? Yeah. Oh. Ain't nothing spoiled, is it? It's the wheels? It's the wheels. Ugh. Can you go down to King's Market and see if they have any steaks? Oh, we don't have French toast right now. 86 spinach, 86 French fries, catfish, salmon croquette. Stop what you're doing and go get me some eggs, because this is not going to last us. That ain't no customer service for you to be talking shit loud enough for me to hear you, though, right? He was with his mouth, see? This is the wrong plate, but I'm going to go ahead and send it out. Terry has a lazy-ass daughter named Tiffany. She doesn't like to work hard. She can stand there behind the counter and chit-chat with all the guys that come in. I don't know why you guys are just stacking them up here. Why can't you guys double bag this stuff? Devin, what exactly are you doing? The employees, they just fear her. There's no respect. Kiss my ass. <laughs> imbeciles. Fucking imbeciles. Yeah, who cleans this place? Don't laugh. Nobody. Nobody cleans. What's in here? Fresh tomatoes and eggs. Oh, look at that. Now, you open a bag of lettuce. So whatever fresh lettuce is left in there is sat next to something even more rotten. Oh, my Lord. Zucchinis, soft and mouldy. What's in this fridge? Oxtail. How old is this? It's like leftover dog food. <clears throat> What's that? When it sits in blood like that, it soils it. Oh, my God. What do I scream about the most? You're paying for this. You're the idiot. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Unbelievable. Let's come down here. All these dresses are store bought. Uh, tartar sauce is, yes. Fucking hell. Hold on a minute. Expired August 2018. It's off. OK, Carrie. it's off. It's expired. We ate this today. What's funny, Carrie? I don't, I don't find this funny. I know you have your concerns and your reservations. However, I'd love you to go and have a look. OK. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We've transformed this dated bakery and bistro into a cosy soul food destination. The overwhelming pink has been traded out for tasteful pink accents. The dining rooms have been updated with fresh paint, rich wallpapers, accent walls, new shelving, table and chairs, and an updated bar. So ridiculous. You oh, you okay? Come on, what do you think? How are the short people gonna be able to reach that? Seriously? Ouch! Carrie? Truthfully? What's your favorite part? Um, probably the shelving. The yeah. shelving that's too high. Well, yeah. OK. Ooh. I like Do that. you like the yeah. black wax no. Oh, God! <laughs> what is wrong? I, I, I think, think it, it looks fits. Cute. As far as my mother goes, she's still trying to take all this in. A new restaurant, a new system, a new way of doing things. This is her baby, so I, I can't really read her at the moment. First of all, yeah, well done. OK, that wasn't easy. Feedback from customers has been what? Yes, very good. Happy? Yeah. Now, when we started, it was toxic. Tonight, yeah, it proved a point. We can work together. Yes. Yes. Yeah? yes. Stay on that page. We haven't resolved everything. I get that. But change is good. Mm -hmm. Keep on track. Yes. <laughs> Holy fuck. I can't even get into the block in. I need, I need fries, please, sir. Oh, what the fuck are you sir? doing, dude? Just walk her off, and you're not gonna put your fucking fries? How about I fire John? If you fire him, I go. Hey, how much you wanna bet it's gonna take another 25 minutes for those Brussels sprouts to land for five, six? They still haven't fucking come. So what are like 40 minutes? I'm trying to move. There's definitely sometimes a blur between friendship and ownership when it comes to working here. She's over here dressing to impress tonight. <laughs> she out here trying to make some tips, dog. Excuse me. <laughs> there can only be one leader behind the line, so I think I've come up with a way to get things back on track. I'm done with this fragmented bullshit. Right, guys. It's a big issue here. You heard it from the cooks. 
right? Yeah. You can understand that frustration. Yes. How do we fix that? Get on the same page. Yeah, let me tell you how you're going to get on the same page. What I want you to do now is go back into that kitchen and in 30 minutes, cook Drew one dish each that's not on the menu, a dish that will elevate this place going forward. The best dish will be the head chef. The other person is going home. All right, describe the dish, please. So the dish is pork chop on the herb polenta with whiskey apples and roasted sunchokes. Jose, describe the dish, please. So I'm doing couscous with braised leeks, pomegranates with the shaved leek salad, and salmon. Let's go. Damn, those knife skills. I was in the zone. I don't want to work for Hyro, honestly. He can't run a team. That is a pork chop with a creamy polenta served with fried apples and sunchoke. This is pan-seared salmon with confit of leeks, couscous, and finished with a citrus garnish. So, we dig in. How's the seasoning on that pork? It's good. It's, it's tender. It's still juicy. Polenta is creamy, but tastes like the pork chop that we currently have on the menu, yeah. except for just adding some yeah. apples. Yeah. Uh, dig into the salmon. I can see inside that has that cooked in the middle. Pink. It's cooked great. Uh, really beautifully. And it's someone taking a leap and, and saying, I'm going to do something different and take a chance, but not too much flavor going on in this family. It needs more acid, right. some acidity there. So do you prefer the pork or do you prefer the salmon? The most elevated dish from what we currently have is... No! No! <laughs> Drew, who's staying and who's going? Although I like both dishes, the rules were clear to be elevated, to make a strong stance, to make a change. And that dish was the salmon dish. The salmon was cooked by... Jose. Wow. Well done. So, Drew, what would you have to say to Jairo? I respect you. I appreciate your hard work. But unfortunately, we have to part ways, and Jose has to step up as the executive chef. OK. Gentlemen, say hello to your new head chef. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> What's that, chef? Officially, welcome back, chef. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Andrew and Raquel here from Social. Since Gorgeous Team came in, back of the house, front of the house is thriving. Right, Love guys. you guys. Let's make it happen. Right. Let's kill it. He is uh, less micromanaging and he is more delegating. People are set up for success. Oh, the kids are. It just worries me because, like, if they start to fight, somebody is going to get hurt. We just have to think, be more careful. Oh, how'd it go? <gasps> Good job. Oh, I was wondering why there's a leaf in it. Bay leaf. It's flavored, Greg. No, he's Seasoning. never done that before. Oh, we don't have a, a recipe to follow. <laughs> Greg, do we have any more hamburger buns? I don't think so. Well, we're out. Are we out of, like, Italian dressing? They don't have any olive oil? I don't know, dude. Well, this bacon is done, done, done. Oh, my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> cool. Gross. Didn't know how messed up things was. Yeah. Wow. How about the kitchen staff back there? Are you proud of your work here? There's a lot of things to be ashamed of right now. I have no control over anything. So why don't you have control over your job? Even trying to get recipes instated is, is oh, damn near impossible. Hold on a minute. You have no recipes? No recipes. We're told to read the menu and, and then base it upon what the menu description is. And who tells you that? Oh, Greg's told, told me that quite a few times. Yeah, but I've also taught you things, and then a week later you go, well, I didn't know how to do that. We have not been taught. Any... You were taught, you were taught okay, then, several then, times, then, and then the next week, I see you. You're acting no like the right savior right. around here, and it's a bunch of bullshit. I'm, I'm pointing out what the problem is. We don't have standardized re recipes. The communication the is just all fucked up. Right? Nobody right. wants to listen, and nobody right. wants to be told. What's wrong? It's like and when you tell them what's wrong, they get brick wall half the time. And then this I is get what tired. happens. You're right. Jesus Christ. So uh, just come around here, guys. Where do we cook the dog food? dog food? Truthfully. Truthfully. The same same place that you do the meals, um, like the so hamburger the, and tummy the... Tummy rubs. Tummy, tummy rubs. rubs. Tummy rubs. What, what is the, go back, tummy rub. What is that? Sausage, bacon, and 
ham with egg and you cook it with pan. But are we using the same sausage, ham, egg, yes. bacon that we do with the customers? Yes. 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 In Greece. Oh, yeah, I don't and there see. again, I think ham and bacon is bad. It's for too dogs rich. As well. yeah. You can't serve the same food for the customers that you serve for the dogs. Wait, why not? It's too rich. Their stomachs are sensitive and you could end up poisoning them all. Right. Come right. Watch out. When was the last time that was cleaned? It's been months. Months? Bloody hell. You mean years? Fucking hell. That's the window, because you're supposed to see how things are cooking in there. You know that, right? Yeah. Oh, my lord. Oh. What's this station here? What is that? Hot dog. That had to be left there when we shut down. A hot dog? But why are we cutting it in half like that? To cook all the way through. We're trying to fast track it. Fuck me. What is that? Kansas City Strip. Fuck it. Yeah. Just look at that. Pamela, talk to me. I mean, just... It's disgusting. Do you have any standards? What in the fuck are they? What's that for the fucking dog's banana bread? I've seen better looking shit at the bottom of a pooper scooper. I mean, we have given up. So, you are the kitchen manager here. What's happened? Why have we got this far down? It's just been a spiral thing. It's... I really don't know what how to explain it. Hey, Chef Ramsay. Hi. Welcome to the new fetch. That 24 hours you spent with us seems to be paying off on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. Of course, I'm staying out of the kitchen as instructed. There's taco to go. We're definitely so happy with everything.